How do I know that climate change is real? Every day I hear something on the news about rising carbon dioxide levels causing the world to get hotter. There's a drought in California. Florida's gonna be underwater. What in my life do I see that lets me believe that climate change is real? I'm originally from North Florida and it's home to some of my favorite places like Wakulla Springs, the Lighthouse, Cape Sandblast. These areas are beautiful. And to this day, I still consider North Florida to be my home. But unfortunately, this is also one of the first places that I've noticed climate change. When I was a little kid, my dad and granddad took me down to Hickory Mount to go catch blue crabs. One of the things that I always liked about Hickory Mound were all the palm trees. But over the years, I've noticed that a lot of those palm trees are starting to die as the forest is slowly receding. And that's exactly what you would expect with rising sea levels. I go to Alligator Point and I can't help but see the road being eroded every single year there's a hurricane. Beaches do erode, I'll give you that. But they also erode at that water level's rising. Since about 2004 or so, I've lived in New Mexico, and nowhere do I see climate change more than here. I don't have to go to Antarctica, I don't have to go to the Arctic, or some faraway place. I don't have to look at a graph of rising surface temperatures. I see it every single time I go camping. Every time I go hiking, I see climate change. I can't escape it. One of my favorite places to go camping is southwest of here. It's in the Gila National Forest. We went down to Snow Lake a few years ago. Driving down there, we went through mile after mile of burned areas. I mean, the canopy burned to the ground. I hardly saw any baby trees, and it makes me wonder if this forest is going to ever come back the way it was. I know that forest fires are part of the ecology in the West. However, catastrophic forest fires that burn the forest to the ground, those should be rare. I'll never forget my 40th birthday when we went camping down in the Gila, and almost every trail we went on we ended up hiking through miles of burned areas. In one fire, we went from mixed conifer, pine trees, to scrubland. We have also seen forests lost to fires in the Chiricahuas, the Manzanos, and the San Juans. Drought caused by climate change doesn't just cause more forest fires. Warmer temperatures also kill fewer beetles in the winter time. And it leads to drought stress in the trees in the summertime. It's a one-two punch for our western forest, leaving them unable to fend themselves off from beetle invasions. In 2012, there was hardly a dead tree in sight at Wolf Creek Pass. This last year we went up there, <laughs> over half of the trees were dead. In fact, it's more like 70%. They even had a sign up there saying, it's the bark beetle. Yeah, it's the bark beetle, but you know what? It's also drought stress. Let's look at Santa Barbara River. Here it is in 2011. Here it is again in 2016. And I can't help but notice how many trees have died in the last five years. Some of these trees were over 400 years old. In 2014, my wife and I drove up the Rio Grande Valley. We wanted to go see the headwaters of the Rio Grande River up in Colorado. And what we saw were thousands of dead conifers. So from what I've seen, to me, climate change is real. And it's the legacy that we're going to leave our children and our grandchildren.